Hello guys, how to fix net WT W10.6 blue screen error in Windows 11 and Windows 10. Uh, this type of a blue screen error appeared due to faulty network driver and corrupt system files. Updating your drivers is a great way to fix this issue on your PC. And the first workaround to fix this issue is update your device drivers via Windows Update. Right click on the start button, choose Windows Settings. Here click on Windows Update from the left side and from the right side choose Advanced Options. Thereafter click on the optional update button. Thereafter click the drop down button on the driver update and check mark the list of update available. Here in my case no any update available. In your case if available download and install it. Also check for updates for any updates available updates. If any update available download and install Windows latest update. The second workaround is rollback recent driver updates. Open device manager in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Here go to the recently updated dry, uh, installed driver. Right click on it and choose its properties. And under driver tab click on rollback driver and click on OK button. The next workaround is run the SFC as scan now command. Open command prompt windows as administrator mode and execute the command SFC as scan now. It will check any corrupted file system in your PC and repair them accordingly. And check press enter and check whether your error is resolved or not. If not, the next workaround is run system restore. Open run command box and execute the command RSTRUI. Click OK and restore system files and settings. Here to create a system restore point, click on system protection options. First, you should create a system restore point. So click on system protection. Here click on create, create a restore point. Click on create button. And here assign a name. If you want to bring your back your system from where you windows update install windows update so we have assign a name windows update and once the restore point created the restore point was created successfully close press ok and again go to run command box and type rstrui Now restore system files and settings, click on next, choose a restore point on follow on screen instruction to complete the restoration process.